hey guys welcome to a brand new video today we're going to take a look at the first steps you can take in discovering a website or a domain's assets in a penetration test let's get right into this so the first thing you want to do is discover subdomains and ip addresses and the first step i usually take is to scan for subdomains you, you can do this in your command line with tools such as sublister but today we'll be using all the tools we'll be using today are web tools so you can do them directly on your browser so let's get right into this. the first tool we'll be using is subdomain scan so subdomain scan is an api by hillbytes that helps you find subdomains of a website so let's take rapid api as an example rapidapi.com and let's see the subdomain we can find with that so the first step you want to take in discovering a website assets is finding the subdomain so that will give you different attack points different entry points into the website so this is these are the subdomains for rapid api we have a few subdomains here blog.rapidapi.com and this also gives us some ip addresses so after you found uh the subdomains of that domain or the website you might want to look into a tool like security trails to start mapping out the website and to start getting out and start getting a general idea of what the website is about so let's just search for rapidapi.com and here we can see ip records and ipv6 records for rapidapi.com and we can see ns records and mail records and we can even get more subdomains from security trails and this gives us a long list of rapid api subdomains and we have more information here and we are starting to have a big idea of what this website or what this domain is about and we have and we are starting to have different entry points into this particular target so you can also check historical data so you can see the hosting providers they've used in the past and if they're leaving any footprints behind or if they've left any footprints behind you can just get access to that and yeah, try to attack through uh, that entry point so this historical data is a very useful information to help you see what services that domain has used in the past and this can also help you get the real ip address of your websites because many websites hide their ip addresses with cdns such as cloudflare so if you just go down the historical data you can check which ip address they used before they moved into using cloudflare and this might be the real ip address of the website so that might give you the ip address to target so the historical data from security trails is a very useful tool you want to use in your process of discovering a website or a domain's assets so that's it for security tools and the next tool we are going to check out is called senses and this is a tool i use all the time to discover the host of a particular domain so i use this tool to get the real ip of a particular domain so let me show you something if i put in if i ping uh, rapid api for example i get a reply from an ip that is meant to be rapid api or let's do an ns lookup for rapid api.com i get another ip address or some ip addresses that are meant to be for rapid api but if we go to this ip address the results will be a cloudflare page and what rapid api is doing is hiding their domain behind cloudflare behind a cdn called cloudflare and we might want to target the real ip address of rapid api and the way we can find that is by using a tool such as census so i can just search rapid api.com for example and this is just th and these are just examples these are just passive methods to discover assets so i'm not directly attacking rapid api in any with any of these tools so let's search rapid api.com on census i'm just going to reload this uh, so we have our results here and we see this first result this is probably the real ip address of rapidapi.com so if i put this in my browser i get into the rapid api page so this is the web ip of rapid api hosted on the amazon web service so these are three tools that can get you started with discovering a website's 
assets, a website, subdomains, and IP addresses in your penetration test or your security test process. So we have subdomain scan for discovering subdomains. We have security trails for mapping out how uh, the website looks like, the A records, the IPv6 records, NS records, and historical data. And we have senses for checking the real IP address of a domain and for checking other servers that that domain is linked to. That'll be all for today. I hope you learned something from this. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to follow our LinkedIn page, Hillbytes. A link to that will be in the description below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.